Hey Taurus, this is Essential Empress with your Mercury Retrograde reading. So this reading will be giving you information inside wherever into about what May 26th. We'll just say now, okay, because we're already entering its storm um, up until the end of June. So yeah. Hey y'all. <laughs> May peace and blessings be upon everyone. Welcome if you are new. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ooh, you, wow. I haven't seen the Hierophant in some time, okay? It was like coming out back to back to back. And then all of a sudden, it was, y'all, okay, Taurus, this is your energy here. And I feel like y'all are about to make a firm commitment. A very, you're going to be very emotionally balanced, okay? Somebody also may be defensive about a connection, about a commitment, about um, someone is, I heard, fixed. So, yeah, it could be you, Taurus, Aquarius, or Leo, or Scorpio here. Um... But this very certain, unwavering energy, okay? Somebody's like, they really, okay, y'all, we gonna see. Um, but I, I do see someone protecting their energy here. So, whew, yes, thank you again so much, you all, for all your support, your love, your patience, and booking with me. I am open for personals. So you can email me if you would like. My information is down below. Ooh, wow. Y'all. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so I think somebody is about to remove themselves from a third-party situation. The, it's about to go down. With this tower. Okay, look, y'all. I feel like someone is about to hop up in their car or like just move on immediately like this nope not my problem not my tower not my house not my drama is what I'm getting with this this chariot energy is so strong okay it's just like as soon as something's happening here something is happening especially with the seven of wands there could be a fight somebody's just like mm, nope all right, yeah, with the Five of Pentacles here, I give someone was left out. There's some Scorpio energy. All right, and yeah, with this, that's opposing y'all. Which would make the Seven of Wands makes a lot of sense now. Okay, and the Hierophant. Ooh, I don't even know where to start, y'all. But I do get this full moon in Scorpio may have revealed some things because we're stepping into this eclipse. Ah, oh, with the Tower, yeah. Okay, and this Gemini energy may be bringing together i'm getting the right people okay the ones that truly support you in moving forward y'all are blocking some people y'all leaving somebody out with this five of pentacles and the seven of wands let's see clarify the seven of wands please that was that was fast all right that's like five six cards yep wow that's why all right someone was left feeling abandoned there was definitely a third party situation here Okay, and with this Two of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, I feel like somebody decided to move forward and make a decision in a commitment. Yeah, they decided to move forward and commit to someone else here or someone's, yeah, okay. And then you've got the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. You know, I get two different connections in here. There's like two different connections. One's ending a cycle with someone. Someone else is reevaluating either the home their family maybe their union as well because the hierophant is here we don't have to clarify this three of cups because you got the five of cups here and there's energy around giving and receiving the time that's invested i do feel like there is a divine partnership that is coming together that's this tower here so there is going to, somebody's going to be disappointed, all right? Let's see. Clarify this Three of Cups. What do we need to know about this Three of Cups? I feel like, ooh, yep. See, I was going to say, I want to use the Kipper deck. You got the Magician card. All right, so there was some manipulation. And again, somebody has, like, maybe one or a few people in their corner when everything seems to be falling apart or this, something shocking happens, something... I'm hearing like good news is worth celebrating and then now y'all like wait should I continue giving yeah you're con considering whether you or not you should continue giving to 
a connection or whatever it was that you were investing in. I'm getting because you have the opportunity to move forward. I'm getting move into a new home. Dang, as soon as I said that, I heard a car just zoom. All right. Let's see. Okay. All right. Yeah. Wow. Y'all, somebody ain't going to let this go. Look at that. Yeah. There is some, you're definitely sitting on a decision about your security. And this is much like Sagittarius's energy. Because there's drama. There was drama around a third party being treated like an option. Yeah. And, you know, probably playing it like, okay, you know, maybe acting like you don't see something. Some of y'all probably don't know how you're going to be able to move forward financially or if you'll be able to be secure. I'm hearing I never knew, you never, somebody never really got to experience what security really was, okay? And I feel like this devil energy is coming up, this five of wands energy is coming up. Somebody's looking at this like, you know, this is not, <laughs> you know, what I have to, you know, go through. This doesn't have to be my life. Yeah, especially with this magician card, all right? What do we need to know about this Five of Wands energy? Yup, look at that. Y'all like, mm-mm, no. <laughs> He's like, not gonna spoil my fruit. So there may be some envy. There may be some competition you're probably not even aware of. But that's this shake-up. Frenemies, yeah, there's some frenemies here that are going to be shaken out of this tower, especially with the Three of Cups, maybe some codependencies, maybe someone you have worked with. I'm getting over status. All right, there's a lot of ego tripping with this Devil card and this Five of Wands, and I'm getting maybe somebody feels I'm getting left behind, okay, not left out, but I feel like they're included, okay, hence the word frenemies. I feel like they're included, but someone is, you know, playing a the victim. They're not happy with the victory, all right, with your security, your ability to manifest, all right, what do we need to know about this page of cups here, well, somebody may be showing up innocent, I, I was going to say somebody also may be offering you some type of insight, some spiritual insight, all right, now you have the two of wands here, so, <laughs> y'all got options, and the people around you know that, It's this King of Pentacles here. Especially if this is a divine partnership. I'm going to Capricorn energy too. Something around your status and career is about to change. Alright, what do we need to know about the King of Pentacles? Okay. This one it is. Let's see? Ooh-wee. Y'all are... Look, it came out with the Two of Swords too. So for the... Look. Do not worry there's something y'all don't see it's the retrograde we're gonna pull some messages we're gonna pull some messages and we're definitely going to do your Taurus career reading because why not especially with this all right there's something you don't see you are not keeping everybody in the know okay so i feel like somebody may be trying to get you caught up bound play some type of fear yeah this is like this naysaying energy and they may try to like come off as like it's a joke or like yeah someone's real passive with this pisces see i said pisces energy but yeah they're real pa they're passive trying to keep you stuck in your head questioning stuck with this two of swords but many of y'all know that you're in this retrograde energy anyway and you're seeing it for what it is you're moving forward regardless but I feel like you are in this energy still. You're like, I know I need to sit on a decision, but I don't need to be, you know, in this energy. You don't need to be in that energy. Let's see. What advice do you have? What advice do you have for my Taurus? Y'all, look at that. Yes, looking at everything objectively and planning. I'm getting studying. Okay, that's why. Not being so quick to rush in and know that they're going to try to rush in and distract you in any kind of way. This is not a wise. I'm pretty sure it's cousins. This is cousins. Okay? Just don't know how to act. Again, some of y'all may have, you know, this energy around you like never really got to be in an environment where there was you know, four of swords energy and six of swords energy. It was always this guilt tripping and gaslighting and 
you know, but I'm getting y'all are the ones who can see. I mean, yeah, this Sagittarius energy is strong here. So this full moon and eclipse, the full moon and eclipse that's happening in a few days may reveal some things um, about people's mindsets. I'm getting people's limitations because this is the possibilities. All right, so. Y'all are definitely about to take the road less traveled. That's what I'm getting. Let's see. Ooh, yes, Taurus. What did I say? That Scorpio energy was strong. And the, the road less traveled. All right. Four of Cups. And the score. Look, I was saying Scorpio. So Scorpio season is going to be strong for y'all, too. I'm here in 11-11. Make a wish. All right. Because you know if it's yours or not. Okay. Y'all y'all are going through this trans transformation. I'm speechless, y'all. But y'all are going through this transformation. And it's so worth it. It's so worth turning down this, you know, these cups. The ones that you see right through. Some of y'all probably just checked out just for a little bit. Okay, but, ooh. I don't even know what to say, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Any other advice for my Taurus? Any other advice for my Taurus? Look at that. Make sure you clear. I told you. I told you. Just because you in this Mercury retrograde energy doesn't mean that you don't know what you're supposed to be doing is why I'm here. You know. Okay? This is Aquarius energy. The knowing. I'm also here. I'm prepared for the full moon. So that Leo energy, the full moons in Aquarius, is going to be two of them, y'all. But that's that, you know, about to take charge, about to take action, energy. I'm hearing people say, like, just wait till this retrograde over. Okay, some of y'all about to speak the truth. You're going to deliver a message. But right now, y'all are doing some real work. Okay, and I'm getting, it may be some things that just were, like, very unattractive to you or just, like, disturbing disgusting you looking at it like this little your lip turned up and all you're like you know what it's the last time and spirits take you through this transformation like that you know y'all about to be real assertive <sighs> what did i say we done y'all we done okay i will have your career reading out okay thank you all again so much for your love and your support we're gonna let you go ahead and just pull one moonology i'm so excited for y'all y'all cutting all of the bs all of it so let's see two cards i know that's right y'all you're very close to achieving your goal you and your loved ones are safe Right? I, I feel like somebody's about to be breaking curses here. Even if y'all breaking ties with family, there's something around the foundation, and that's that Taurus energy. But this new moon in Cancer has a lot to do with this four of wands here. Some of y'all are preparing for this move. Okay, you got the chariot card here as well. And it's coming up right after the eclipses, y'all. So prepare. Thank you again so much for your love and your support. If you would like a personal, you can email me. My information is down below. Take care, you all. Bye.